Well, I wanted to start then by thanking Ryan for taking the time to chat with us at the Christian Beat about your upcoming music, uh, which I'm sure is exciting for you. Man, exciting. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really excited about this one in particular. Awesome, awesome. I can't wait to hear more about it. So the, the title of the project is Able, um, also uh, the title of one of the tracks as well, but I um, want to talk through kind of where, how that kind of title encapsulates the full project for you. Sure thing. Well, thank you again for just even taking the time to talk with me today. Um, you know, I've been sharing a lot about just how this this record in particular, you know, I've been I've been this is my 10th year in in full time, you know, touring CCM Christian music. So I just hit a decade and uh, it's just, you know, it's been an amazing journey and I'm I'm. I'm so grateful. Uh, I'm just so grateful for the journey and just what what it's been like and and where we've gone and this the the vast amount of people that we've had an opportunity to connect with and what my songs have meant to so many lives over the last years. I'm I'm humbled by that. Um, you know this last this last little season. You know when when COVID hit us in March of 2020. We were we were kind of in a process right then at that moment where I felt like the 747 was just taken off and all you know I had just released a new record and I had just released a new book and all these pieces were in place and you know uh, I had a a string of you know big songs at Christian radio and and a lot of number ones and all, you know, just everything just appeared to be perfect and, you know, really successful. And, and we were all feeling it. And then, and then COVID hit and our, the tour we were on got canceled. We all went home. We all kind of dispersed and it for, for weeks and then months. I mean, it was just like, man, what are we, what are we doing? Like, what, what is going on? It was just such a confusing time. And I really had a lot of questions, you know, at that point in time. And I really began to ask the Lord, like, God, what are you, what are you doing? Like, I feel like you're pulling the rug out from underneath me and, and dropping me. Like, I feel like you're not there for me right now. And all these plans and all these strategies and everything that we've had that we've put in place, that we've sought you and we've followed you. And we feel like we're just, you know, really seeking you and leading us through this season. It's just like, boom, just done. And uh, I was just like, okay, I felt like the Lord just said, I've, I've got you and my ways are not your ways. And so I just, man, I really had to trust that. And so that kind of began a season of, of me really going, you know, as a, as a, as a 40 year old, as a dad, as a husband, somebody who's been raised in the church and around faith and has deep faith. I feel like that was really a starting point of the Lord just using, using that season to just take me even deeper to begin to peel away all the layers of, of insecurity and uh, feelings of rejection, feelings like I don't measure up, like every, every insecurity I feel like that I had just stored up and now it kind of walked with, he just began to work on those things. And, and I feel like the only way he could do it was just to strategically in, in his kindness kind of heal me away from the big touring machine kind of mechanism and, and just get me out there in the wilderness where he could just, where, where he could just speak to me in quiet and private and just get me alone with him. And that's honestly what the last three years have been uh, for me personally is just alone with God in the quiet. We've been out all over America the last three years in my van playing hundreds, hundreds of, of private, intimate, you know, concerts in people's backyards and people's living rooms and their patios and gazebos, uh, horse farms, dairy farms, 
ranches, veterans halls. I mean, you name it, that's what we've been doing. And in that season, I feel like the Lord just really began to reveal to me uh, my beloved status. If, if I could just boil it all down, it was just that he was showing me who I am, who I am in him. And, and that's just his son, a son of the most high. And that's all that matters. And I feel like it's just taken that, not that I've arrived anywhere special. I feel like we're always in process and we're always on that journey of walking that out. But it's been a beautiful season of, of just being alone and quiet with the Lord and letting him just wash my mind, wash my heart, love on me, just peel away old old thought patterns and old habits. Uh, it just give me a lot of freedom and victory and in areas of my life that I don't know that I would have really gone there otherwise. And so these songs on this new project called Abel is it's just a collection of of songs that have been birthed out of this last season. You know, I've been work, I worked on this project for um, over two years and I was just really, really considerate of every single thing I wanted to say, picked the songs. You know, I've, I've never written so many songs in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I had, you know, so many songs, but I just, I kept going and I kept writing and I kept writing and I peeled it all down to this this one batch of songs that I that I wanted to put out, and uh, so that's what's coming. And I think the the overall under the overarching message of this of the project being able is really just comes from Ephesians three twenty. Um, and Ephesians three twenty in the Bible says, "Now all glory to God, who is able through His mighty." power within us to accomplish and to do exceedingly and abundantly more than all all that we could ask or imagine and that that is something that is just becoming so real to me that's a verse that got stamped on my heart as a young kid and it's just it's carried me all the way to now into my adult life and navigating navigating just weird uh new terrain and the unknown and the uncertainty and just knowing that god man I, this doesn't make any sense to me at all and it feels like everything is over it feels like my world's coming to a sudden stop but the lord just keeps showing up saying i'm oh, i'm i'm able i've got you trust me um i will give you the desires of your heart of psalms 37 you know says you Trust him and you'll find that along the way he worked it out perfectly. So that's that's where I'm at. Absolutely. And since this project has such a personal meaning to you, I'm curious how you've kind of thought through what your vision and what your goal for the impact of this project is for others um, to, to come alongside that personal journey of yourself. Yeah, well, I think the, the real clear answer to that is we are all we're all just people and i think sometimes we shy away from talking to the vulnerable thing that's inside of every human being sometimes it's easy to just gloss over and give give a big broad stroke of a of music or writing or a song that might appeal to everybody and i think in doing that there's there's this sense of vulnerability and rawness and, and authenticity that gets missed sometimes when we don't just talk directly in in the specific things that that people are dealing with and that's what I've just always tried to do the songs and and the music that has reached me and impacted my life in the deepest ways over the years have been songs about really specific things and hurt and pain and confusion and regret that people are actually walking through. And I think we all deal with those things. And if we can speak personally to those things on that personal level, I, I feel like we, we all come together in a special way that doesn't happen with, with the big broad strokes of, of gloss, you know? 
for sure. And with that in mind, I'm curious if um, any of the tracks, I mean, you're obviously excited for all of them. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> trying to, to get you to pick the one track yeah, or whatever sure. that you're most excited about, but is there a particular uh, track or even lyric from any of the tracks that you think uh, is going to be um, impactful and perhaps one of the ones that's going to be able to be just grabbed onto by uh, the listeners? Yeah, you know, there's, I mean, again, <laughs> it's like, they're, I feel like they're all my baby, you know, they're right. all, they're all my, they're all my child that I'm so proud of. And I'm like, oh, I want the world to see you because you're perfect. Um, but there's a couple on there. One of them, one of them in particular is a song called Closer. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other one is a song called Carry Me. And those two songs, Real, just they really have a deep 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 meaning for me one of the lyrics in closer uh you know the chorus of closer says um what if every heartache is not an accident what if every failure is not a coincidence not a moment wasted not a tear in vain I know my God can use anything to draw us closer. And I just think, man, that is such truth. That is such truth to me that God, there's no such thing as coincidence. Coincidence, I've learned, has a nickname, and that's the Holy Spirit. Like God is involved meticulously and intricately in the details of our life, and nothing is missed. And there is, there is no, you know, God doesn't use us in spite of the painful messed up parts of our life he actually uses all of that too and he weaves all of that right into our story and paints this brilliant picture of his goodness of his redemptive power of of his ability to just orchestrate every circumstance as romans 8 says using all causing all things to work together for our good and i love that um and there's an, this other song called carry me was just uh, my song of of just a deep prayer, you know, feeling exhausted, feeling lonely, feeling like this quiet, this quiet weight, this quiet loneliness on my shoulders that nobody else knows about. You know, I, I carry it alone and I carry it in private. And this song, Carry Me, was just me literally spilling my heart out saying, God, uh, you know, like the lyrics says, heavy heart inside my chest. I try so hard. I give my best. These tired legs are shaking. Don't know how much longer I can take it. One step forward, two steps back. This narrow road ain't an easy path. I'm feeling so defeated. More than anything I've ever needed you to carry me. Lord Jesus, carry me. It's like I love reading the Psalms because. I love how David and some of the psalm psalm writers write. They're just they're just pouring out everything. They're just saying what needs to be said. They they don't care about being eloquent. They don't care. They don't care about anything. They're just like God. Where are you? I'm I'm soaking my clothes with my tears. My bones ache. I'm where you know. I'm confused. Why are you forgetting me? Why are you? forsaking me and and then they then they always turn it to this place of but god i i trust you and i know you're good and i guess that's that's just really what carry me really means to me for sure that that's uh like i said i wasn't trying to make you pick a <laughs> track or two tracks or whatever from the, from the list because i'm sure they all have you know that special place but i was i was curious which ones uh you would call out or you know think of um in yeah. that vein so mm. very excited um and and i'm also sh uh pretty sure i can uh, answer that you would you are looking forward to playing all these songs live um in person with you know it, at events those types of things um and i know you have a couple different type of events coming up um the uh 
uh, Gospel Nights Unplugged tour, um, which is kind of birthed from that backyard sessions that you had talked about. But then you're also going to be involved in the uh, Caleb uh, Red Rocks yeah. um, night, which I'm sure are kind of like two different types of events. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, vastly so, different. <laughs> so just curious, um, in those different settings, you know, what you're looking uh, maybe not to get out of it personally, but maybe, you know, those, how you're going to kind of uh, attack both of those types of different, different uh, event types and, you know, just how, what you're looking for to get for each of those nights. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that whether we're playing in a backyard or a church or somebody's pool deck or in a veterans affairs hallway or <laughs> in the in the swamps of louisiana to <laughs> red rocks uh whether we're playing for nine people on a back porch or ten thousand mm -hmm. at red rocks i feel like my approach is is literally always the same and that's just the only the only thing that i know to do is just be exactly who i am and and communicate the heart and the passion and the authenticity of of who Jesus is, who we are as sons and daughters of the King, um, and whether you know we're we can. That's what I love about what we do is we can we can be in a backyard with nine people with our acoustic instruments and be right there present with everybody, or we can go to Red Rocks and be in the midst of ten thousand people, and it's still our living room right there at Red Rocks, and we can just be present with everybody with our acoustic instruments and do the exact same thing. And so I've just, I guess I've just kind of learned to not, not change the formula because you see the masses showing up. It's, no, this, this, this is special because it's because the Lord is just so present in, in the, in the, uniqueness and the 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 special sentiment in this environment that we're creating out of this unplugged stripped down intimate heartfelt night of testimony and vulnerability um we take that anywhere we go and we don't change the formula and it's it's just so beautiful to see it impact you know thousands of people at a time or 10 I'm sure that it's uh, for sure great. I, I'm curious. So you've you've written a, a book before. Um, you had mentioned that uh, previously. I'm curious with this set of music, if there's other ways that you're going to be looking to kind of continue the story, since you have such that personal connection to this project and in, in particular, Abel, that's coming out. If if you're planning to do some type of uh, video kind of visual component to, to work on that or some other type of being able to express uh, different ways all of the heart that you have behind this project. Absolutely. Yeah, we one of, one of the things that we started doing that I started doing this last season was because I had I had written my book. My book <laughs> came out right during COVID. So <laughs> it was an amazing time to release music in a book. Uh, but I thought, you know, part of these gospel nights and plug in the the acoustic, the acoustic intimate setting, I felt like it was just more than a night of showing up and giving people song mm -hmm. and music and a wall of sound for the next hour and a half. But I wanted to actually let people know why these songs even exist in the first place. And I think once you know the meaning and the heart behind a song and why it was birthed in the first place, I think that that really helps you draw a deeper connection to it. It really helps that song come to life in a new way. and You have a deeper understanding and appreciation for that song and for those lyrics. And so what I started doing was in between songs, I started reading, reading little paragraphs or two of my book about where I was in my life, what I was going through, why that song was written and actually have people hear it rather than trying to recall it all the time, like reading my book tangibly to say, no, this is where this came from. And here's the story behind it. And I'm sharing my life with people with a, we play the song and it's, it's, 
man, it's just been such a such a cool, special time. I mean, I've had people, people at our concerts when we're doing this, you know, they're just like, they'll shout out and be like, keep reading the book. <laughs> I just didn't expect that, you know, but it's like, man, when you, when you just, when you were able to just cut through the, all the noise, when you're able to just strip it down to like story and testimony, it, something, it transcends everything and something really spiritual and, and really unique happens in those environments. For sure. For sure. That's a, that's a great, I guess it's not a typical call out you would get uh, yeah. in those types of settings. But... Keep reading the book. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I know we're getting close to time, so I'm going to wrap with one final question for you. Um, and you can take this more personal, more professional, however you want it to answer. But curious, uh, looking at the, the rest of 2023 and all that has uh, to come, what you're most expectant for um, in these coming months for the rest of this year? Man, just we're we're going to be we're so busy already and we've got I think I'm just so thankful that even I'm I'm grateful for God's provision that even even in the midst of you know a, a new normal uh, a new way of touring like us having to adjust and totally pivot away from thing the way we it used to be for the last 8 9 years uh I'm so thankful that the Lord just keeps creating a way, keeps lining up opportunities. We're not having to beat down doors to, you know, beg to go play anywhere. Like we're, we're, we're still able to uh, connect, connect with our, our, our community at large. Um, and I think I'm just, because I've seen such a, a massive response in our bookings and and our ability to continue to be out connecting with people around the country, uh, I think I'm most excited about just what's happened in my heart over the last two and a half years and be able to just continue to be out with people face to face in an intimate environment and continue to trumpet the message to everybody that the you know the finished work of Jesus and 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 who we are in Christ our beloved identity i feel like i can't move on from that that that's such a paramount thing that's happened in me and and continues to just uh change me every day that that's all i want to share these days is to get everybody back to the place of their first love and to realize be you know pierced have our hearts all pierced this year in 2023 with the the revelation that that we are his beloved children and so that's that's my prayer moving forward absolutely i just want to thank you again ryan for taking the time really appreciated getting to hear more behind this project and i'm looking forward to see how it uh, impacts others thank you no problem at all glad to do it